Imagine the universe. Now zoom into a galaxy, then a star, a planet, a person, a cell, a molecule, and finally an atom. Atoms, the building blocks of matter, hold the key to why some materials conduct electricity while others resist it. At the heart of this mystery lies the concept of energy bands. These bands represent a range of energy levels that electrons within a material can occupy. The arrangement and properties of these energy bands dictate the electrical behavior of a material. Understanding them is like unlocking a hidden language that governs the behavior of the material world around us. Our exploration of energy bands leads us to three fundamental categories of materials. Conductors, semiconductors, and insulators. Conductors like copper and silver readily allow electricity to pass through them. Their valence band overlaps with the conduction band, enabling easy current flow. Semiconductors such as silicon have a small energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band. At room temperature, some electrons gain enough energy to jump into the conduction band, enabling limited conductivity. Insulators, like rubber and glass, resist the flow of electricity due to a large band gap. Even with applied energy, electrons struggle to overcome this barrier, making it difficult for current to flow. This classification helps us understand why copper wires carry electricity, silicon powers our computers, and rubber gloves protect us from electrical shocks. The arrangement of energy bands is crucial in defining the electrical properties of these materials. To further unravel the complexities of conductivity, we delve into the microscopic world of electrons within materials. The free electron gas model envisioned electrons in a metal as a gas of non-interacting particles moving freely. While this model explains some metallic properties, it failed for semiconductors and insulators. Enter Bloch's theorem, stating that the wave function of an electron in a periodic potential also possesses a periodic structure. This leads to the concept of energy bands. The nearly free electron model refines this by considering weak interactions between electrons and the crystal lattice. For materials with stronger electron lattice interactions, the tight binding model is more appropriate. These models provide valuable insights into the intricate world of electron behavior in materials. Our journey into the realm of energy bands has revealed the fascinating relationship between material structure and electrical properties. We now venture into the realm of photoconductivity, where light interacts with materials to alter their conductivity. Imagine shining light on a semiconductor. If the photons carry enough energy, they can excite electrons from the valence band to the conduction band. This increases the number of free charge carriers, enhancing the material's conductivity. This phenomenon, known as photoconductivity, finds widespread applications, most notably in solar cells. Solar cells convert sunlight into electricity by generating electron-hole pairs, increasing conductivity, and enabling current flow. Beyond photoconductivity, material science continues to astound us with phenomena like superconductivity. Superconductors exhibit zero electrical resistance below a certain temperature, allowing electrons to move without energy loss. The study of energy bands opens a window into the fascinating world of materials and their remarkable properties.